Hi, welcome to another video by myself, Rob Allen. Today we're going to discuss our wetsuit camo pattern. Over the years, I'm sure guys have seen the change in this pattern. Initially, we didn't design the original patterns. Very good patterns, went down well. But we felt we needed to have a little bit extra to it. We needed to get a little bit more, almost 3D appearance, opposed to a flat visual. Um, we set about doing this on a computer. A lot of persons had asked how we do it and a lot actually assumed we just grabbed a camo off the internet. This is not the case, I can assure you. So we've developed two different ones in-house and you'll be seeing a lot of this shortly. Let me introduce you to Jeremy, my business partner. He's the gentleman that sits there all day designing these camos. Hi, I'm Jeremy Williams, Rob Allen's business partner. He asked me to give you some insight into the way we design our camo patterns. Um, we used to have that done by outside artists, but we decided to bring it in-house. There's very little that we can find about the theory of underwater camo patterns. So we've had to develop our own um, ideas. Uh, we decided to base them on underwater bottom predators, um, specifically grouper patterns. As you can see from this picture on the screen, um, in general, you'll find that the fish will have bars, vertical bars on them when they're lying on the bottom. Um, this breaks up their outline. Instead of being one large, long structure, it now, now becomes a group of smaller structures. Um, and that, we think, reduces the, the chance of them being um, perceived as a predator by their prey. This would also apply to us as divers, where the camo should break us up into uh, uh, smaller units on the, when lying on the bottom. At the moment, we are um, doing some trials on a new grey-blue camo, which is just a change in colour from our existing rock camo. Um, here's our design that we've done. And on the right-hand side here, we have a sample print, which is done by sublimation printing. We have that sample print done in a factory that specializes in that. Okay, we're here at um, Janelli and we're doing sampling for some new camo colors. What we found is that the um, colors I get on my monitor at Dive Factory closely match the sublimated colors on this type of fabric. So um, what we're doing now is we're going to print out the, the camo in a sublimation ink on a piece of paper and then we'll do a heat transfer onto some fabric and that'll give us a very good idea of what the camo would look like on a suit. Once you have the image printed onto the paper, it's sandwiched against the fabric and run through a heat press. This transfers the inks into the fabric. The problem is you sometimes get a slight variation in color and the image on the fabric doesn't exactly match the image that you've designed. As you can see here, the fabric is a slightly more drab and darker image than the one on the screen that we've designed. Uh, you then have to go back into the, the image and just adjust it until the print actually matches what you want. We found through experience that it's better to supply the wetsuit rubber manufacturer with an actual swatch of the fabric colors that we want, rather than to try and use Pantone colors, which become very difficult. There you go, now you can see how we do the camo. And uh, thank you for watching. Join us on the next one.